Everyone, today I'll be showing you how you can get the Bathysphere and the Blue Steel Bathysphere in Shadow of his RPG. So first thing that you're gonna need is Rebirth 1 so that you can access this hub of Rebirth. Second thing that you're gonna need is uh, a decent flight build to maybe get to the location or you can just jump there to get to the Dark Moon Ring. I'll show you why in a second. So over in this area by Gygax, there is actually a kind of hidden mini boss up here. Oh, above um above this where the staircase ends of Gygax's bridge. You can see that, that there is this character, the Ocean Delver. Now, once you kill him, you get this item, the Batosphere. I'll be showing you how to use. So with this item, the Batosphere, you can sink into some of the water in the map. For example, over here by the Masked Fighter, you can actually sink into this area, which has some other hidden enemies in it. And the uh, the Knight of the Silent Abyss. This guy drops dual breakers and the Abyss armor. Next thing that I'm going to be showing you how to get is the Blue Steel Bathysphere. So the Blue Steel Bathysphere is over here at the depths. You can either access it through the portal or through sinking into the water hole. So, once you fall into the depths, you'll oh, you'll see these uh, creatures called the Ocean Emissary, and below them, you'll find the Blue Steel Vanguard of Domin. He has a chance of dropping the Blue St Blue Steel Bathysphere, but you can also buy that from here, the depth shop. Blue Steel Bathysphere. The only difference between the normal Bathysphere and the Blue Steel one is that the Blue Steel Bathysphere over here lights up underwater. Now, it doesn't really light up, but it has some bonuses with uh, 200 magic resistance and 200 melee defense. So, <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much how you get both of the bathyspheres so that you can sink into the water holes. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!